Hi everyone and welcome to the rundown of week number eight of your home-based dryland training program. It's top of the meso cycle. One more hard week before we go into a recovery week. The aerobic section of your program this week is a 35 minute run, easy pace. You've got a fart leg run where you're running fast up and downhill and your interval sessions, beach athletes, you'll see in your program there, three sets of 10 by 60 meters and the water athletes, you've got a soft sand run with a three minute run with a one minute 30 rest. For your strength training program, check the changes in order. Also, you'll see the rest periods have been reduced and you'll see your core exercises. You're doing all three exercises before having a one minute rest. Moving through to the main exercises, your diagonal lunge, eight each leg, your side raise, I want you to pause at the top of each of these exercises. You bend over row, your pulse squat, and your push-ups this week, I want you to get down to a good range of motion. A trick to help you do this is you put a teaspoon on the ground underneath your nose, and you try and touch the tip of your nose to the teaspoon on each repetition. Core exercises are your flutter kicks, up and down plank, and then your lying windmills. Again, do all those exercises without rest, and then after each rotation, have one minute recovery. Preventative exercises, your Y row, external shoulder rotation, and a T row. Stretches is the same as last week, you should be getting good at these. Standing chest stretch, hip flexor stretch, lying quadriceps stretch, hamstring stretch, T-spine rotation, eight each side, and an extended child pose. At the end of this week, you should be able to run for about 30 minutes without stopping, and you should be able to do about 12 to 15 push-ups on your toes. Okay, that's it for this week. I'll speak to you next Monday.